Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into an interesting topic that has puzzled many for centuries. Why don't the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans mix? As you may know, the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans are two of the largest water bodies on Earth, covering a staggering 80% of the planet's surface. Yet, despite their proximity, they don't mix. So, what is the reason behind this phenomenon? Let's find out. Firstly, it's essential to understand that the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans differ in their physical and chemical characteristics. The Atlantic Ocean is warmer, saltier, and less dense than the Pacific Ocean. Conversely, the Pacific Ocean is colder, fresher, and denser than the Atlantic Ocean. This difference in density plays a crucial role in preventing the two oceans from mixing. Layers of water in the oceans can have different densities due to differences in temperature, salinity, or pressure. When a layer of water has a higher density than the layer beneath it, it forms a boundary called a thermocline. The thermocline acts as a barrier for water mixing by preventing the water above it from sinking and mixing with the water below it. Now, let's talk about the differences in salinity levels between the two oceans. The Atlantic Ocean has a higher salinity level than the Pacific Ocean. The reason behind this is the Atlantic has more evaporation than the Pacific. The evaporation causes the water to become more saline while leaving the salt behind. The Pacific Ocean, on the other hand, has more precipitation than evaporation. This results in a lower salinity level. The salinity difference creates a phenomenon called halocline, which is another barrier to mixing. The halocline occurs when there is a sharp gradient between two layers of water with different salt concentration. The difference in salt concentration causes the water to become less dense, making it float on top of the denser water below it. This phenomenon prevents the water from mixing, maintaining the separation between the two oceans. Another vital factor that contributes to the separation between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans is their respective ocean currents. The ocean currents act like conveyor belts, moving water in a specific direction. The Atlantic and Pacific Oceans have different currents that prevent the mixing of their waters. The Gulf Stream is an important current in the Atlantic Ocean and is responsible for carrying warm water from the Gulf of Mexico towards Europe. The current moves towards the North Atlantic and then splits into two paths. One path leads towards the Arctic Ocean, and the other path moves towards the equator. The Arctic path cools down the warm waters while the equatorial path warms it. Meanwhile, the Pacific Ocean has a circular current system called the North Pacific and South Pacific gyres. These gyres move in a counterclockwise direction in the North Pacific and a clockwise direction in the South Pacific. They are responsible for carrying the majority of the water in the Pacific Ocean. The combination of these currents results in a phenomenon known as the Ekman transport, which moves the water to the left or right of the wind direction. This transport system creates a boundary called the North Pacific Subtropical Gyre Front. The front acts as a barrier, preventing the warm water from the equator in the South Pacific from mixing with the North Pacific. In conclusion, the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans don't mix due to several factors, including the difference in density, salinity, and ocean currents. The thermocline and halocline act as barriers, preventing the mixing of the waters. The Gulf Stream and North Pacific and South Pacific gyres carry water in specific directions, creating boundaries that prevent the waters from mixing. It's fascinating to see how nature works in mysterious ways, and we hope this video shed some light on this intriguing phenomenon. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.